Hi everyone. Today we are going to explore a very very interesting mathematical application that is the misconception that is there in every student's brain. So now we are going to discuss about this concept in a clear manner such that after listening to this you should not repeat the same mistake again. Hope you are understanding what I am saying. Let's jump into the topic. So you all know that what is square root of 4? If somebody is asking you what is the value of square root of 4, what should be your answer? In many cases, the students are going to give the answer as plus or minus 2. Okay? If somebody is asking you what is square root of 9, then you will say the answer is plus or minus 3 because you have your own concept. That is, if plus 3 into plus 3, that is 9. If minus 3 into minus 3, still you are going to get the value as 9. So let's understand by the example by taking root 36 as an example. So the question is, what's the value of root over 36? Okay, now you are giving the answer as the same that is either plus 6 or minus 6. But remember guys, if you are giving the answer as plus or minus 6, then you are absolutely wrong. Yes, you heard me clearly. You are absolutely wrong if you are going to give the answer as plus r minus 6 because the answer is only plus 6 and it is not at all minus 6. Now we are going to discuss about why it is not minus 6 even though minus 6 times minus 6 is 36. It is satisfying the condition that is the minus 6 times minus 6 is 36 then why not root over 36 is minus 6 because the square root of a function is defined to be the principal square root that means it is indicating about only the positive value but not the negative value hope you are understanding if somebody is asking you what is root over 36 your answer should be 6 and not minus 6 because you should have to take the positive value why is the topic that we are going to discuss because it's a tricky thing okay why you cannot take minus 6 as the square root of 36 let's see so what is root over a square again you are going to give me the answer as either plus a or minus a and remember in both the cases you are wrong you have to take the value as modulus a you know the modulus modulus c is always the positive value Let's see an example. For example, if you are going to take a is equals to 2, for a is equals to 2, then root over 2 square is going to become root over 4, which is equals to modulus 2, that is positive 2. If you are taking a is equals to minus 2, and if you are going to square it, root over minus 2 whole square is equals to root over 4, still the answer is modulus minus 2, and what is modulus minus 2? Again, the answer is 2. That means you are taking plus 2 or minus 2. You are going to get the value as same. And modulus of minus is always going to become plus. That's why we are going to take the value as positive value. And we cannot take the value as negative value. So by this, we can take several examples. If x is equals to root 4, then x is equals to 2, positive 2. If x is equal to root 36, then x is equal to positive 6. If x is equal to root 9, then x is equal to positive 3. And in all three cases, you cannot take the negative values as the answers. Okay. Now, we are going to jump into the another example. If x square is equal to 4, if x square is equal to 4, then we are squaring, we are taking square root on both sides root over x square equals to root over 4 then that is modulus x is equals to 2 that is x is equals to either plus 2 or minus 2 okay because modulus x is equals to 2 because modulus x is equals to 2 the value is going to become either plus or minus we are taking an example here if x square is equals to 36 then x is equals to plus or minus root over 36 plus or minus that is root over 36 and we can't write it as minus 6 then x is equals to root over 36 which is equals to 6 that is positive 6 
hope your misconception has been uh, solved from now onwards somebody is asking you what is root 100 then you say the answer as 10 not minus 10 okay right hope you understand subscribe the channel thank you